still keep that fun from a side down. All right, ladies and gents, I'm out with Duke Blade. He's uh, joining me for a little bimble. around some of our little Sussex roads which should be pretty good fun to start with I'm going to lead the route and then uh, I'm sure at some point he'll pass me because he's on his ZX636 which is a little bit more perky than my little KTM 390 so uh, yeah it'll be quite interesting to see how we get on So we're going to have a little tear around. <laughs> Guys, bike sounds good. He's all over me. He's all over me. <laughs> Fun little road, fun little road. Oh, buddy! <laughs> Let's get the crap out of me. <laughs> He's being very sensible and not overtaking where he doesn't see it to be safe. Good plan, Batman. Should be able to go now. Completely different ball game as far as concentrating when you've got someone riding with you and uh, their safety and my safety is far more important than chatting on a motor vlog so please excuse me having a more concentrated ride than a chatty ride see it is a nice day it really is it's the truth So this is one of the reasons I'm out of vlog. It gives me the opportunity to just get chatting to someone online and we're going for a ride the next day. Awesome stuff. Now, I've said before that uh, a lot of my biker buddies from the past have moved on, gone to different places in the world, um, or some of them have even given up the biking. Which meant that my motorcycling social world got a bit smaller for a while. And uh, that's really kind of why I started doing the motor vlogging, was to increase my biking social life, which we now seem to have done quite nicely. Getting uh, invited out on rides with people quite a bit, inviting myself on rides, and meeting lots of new people. And I think that's the awesome thing about the biking community. Not just motor vlogging, but biking community. We all want to just get out and ride. And it's very much more fun when you've got someone to go and ride with. That's the trouble with parking on that side of the road, facing this direction is that you can't see what's coming when you're trying to pull out it's a good little route this obviously the town bits are a bit poop but the out of town bits are aces absolute aces see the roads here are dry it's just the fun ones that we've got what a bastard Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. 
So uh, Duke Blade is actually going to be running a raffle soon for you to win his bike. So if that is something that you think you are interested in doing, check out his channel. Um, he's posted a couple of videos on it already discussing sort of how he's going to go about doing it. And uh, has also uh, been getting ready to launch the actual competition. Now, skill based, I think there's a question that you have to answer, but uh, yeah, check it out if you fancy winning his ZX6 E6. Nice overtake there, white van man. That thing is rapid! <laughs> I've not been here before. I've often passed it, but I've never used it. So much traffic! <laughs> it's quite nippy, isn't it? I really need to sort out my clutch because my uh. Is it the uh, wrong angle? I don't know, but it's hurting my wrist. Nobody's doing it. It's quite hard on a sports bike in traffic, anyway, isn't it? Uh, I mean, I'm usually fine on sports bikes. It's not really the issue. Well, you've got a bit of height on you, so you're not like massively hunched no, over, I'm are you? Like, you know, half out, whatever, but. <laughs> <laughs> Right, let's go grab a cup of tea. <laughs> Nothing like some childish antics for sleepy UPS driver. Well, that was a nice cup of tea. It's a proper grease and spoon, that. I mean, like, I think they slot more tea around the mugs than they put in it. But yeah, good to have a little natter as well with Freddy. His channel is uh, quite a successful one. And uh, he was just sort of talking me through some of the bits and bobs that he's, he's done to help his channel grow, which is quite interesting. So this has been a jolly nice way to spend a couple of hours. Might not have ridden a huge distance, but we've had a fun distance. It's also nice to uh, have face to faces with people, get to know them. Our YouTube personalities aren't always the same as our face to face ones. I find it a lot easier to just chat shit down to a microphone than I often do speaking to a strange person I've not met before. But Freddie's an awesome guy, proper chatty, and uh, yeah, really nice guy. I do suggest if you haven't already, that you check out his channel. He puts up some decent stuff, not just uh, motor vlogs, but also tips and tricks and stuff for riding safely. And you also get the chance to win his motorbike if you wanna. <laughs> <laughs> While we were having our cup of tea, we were discussing sort of the motor vlogging community and uh, good ways to make your channels grow and stuff like that. A lot of motor vloggers, they're just in it for themselves and that's kind of quite sad really because they're missing out, they're missing out massively. There's a whole community, it shouldn't be about making your channel the biggest bestest thing ever it should be about growing the whole community and freddy's got the right idea he uh, is about the community not just about the growth the subs and the views <laughs> that makes <thing's> fast <laughs> Do 
Cheers, Dave. See you soon. It's been pretty awesome to catch up with Freddie and uh, have a little chat with him over a brew. So if in your process of running your YouTube channel, you get the opportunities to go for ride outs or cups of tea or anything like that with any other mobile vloggers, take him up on it. You never know, they could become a buddy. Not just on the bikes, but outside of the bikes too. Oh, now Freddy's gone. I'm heading home now. Going the twisty way. Although it's still a little bit damp up by this neck of the woods. It's damned awesome to uh, have him spend some time riding around Sussex's finest. And good to have a little natter over a cup of tea too. I think it's awesome. That some of the larger motor vloggers are just as happy to spend some time with the small ones like myself. And really cool that we've got so many people sharing the same interest down in this part of the country. I guess it's because we've got the roads for it. it. Comes hand in hand, doesn't it? We've had a damned awesome the lunchtime meetup. And now I'm having a damned awesome ride home. This little bike performs remarkably well even when put up against larger CC sports bikes like the ZX66R. I'm not trying to kid myself or you that this thing could beat it. But it still hustles along at a pace that doesn't completely bore the pants off people on faster machinery. We're just about at the end of my journey now. So I do hope that you've enjoyed following me along this little ride. Please do check out Duke Blade's YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description and a uh, annotation at the end so all you have to do is click on it and uh, it'll take you over to his channel. Do subscribe to him, he's a really good YouTuber and uh, maybe even enter his competition once he launches it to win his motorbike. Awesome stuff. If you're a motor vlogger, get involved in the community. Don't just look at it as something you're doing. Look at it as something we're all doing. Touch base with some of your local YouTubers. Organise group rides with them. Or even just go for a cup of tea with one of them. It'll help spread the wings of your channel. And also, it's far more fun to be doing things with mates rather than just going solo. Well, if you look at some of, say, uh, Chase on Two Wheels and uh, Yummy R6 dude fuckface, whatever, he, whatever, they do uh, regular seasons of dual vlogging. You could be the next one of them. I couldn't. <laughs> because I seem to not be able to speak whenever I'm in a, a dual vlog environment. Ride safe, take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now. Keep that bike. From a side. Down. Hey, no, you got to keep that bike. From a side. Down. <sighs>